Checkmate 227 is a study that has captured our imagination for years. We've seen multiple iterations of this. Most recently at ESMO, we saw um, the sort of larger piece of doublet immunotherapy versus chemotherapy. And certainly the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab reached statistical significance in the population that you know the primary endpoint was patients with TPS over 1%. Um, and certainly I think it's exciting. I think what was really exciting was uh, another endpoint, which was not a primary endpoint, was looking at patients who had no pdl one expression. And those patients also seem to benefit pretty substantially over chemotherapy. It's been demonstrated with chemotherapy and immunotherapy as well, but certainly this is exciting for patients who may prefer a chemotherapy-free backbone um, that we see such a nice survival benefit. Notably, I think there were a, a pretty significant number of complete responses, and so that is something that's pretty notable in, in patients with stage four disease. Um, toxicity was well managed. I think the question is going to be really how do we uh, adequately choose patients for the doublet immunotherapy combination, and that's a significant effort um, that is that is ongoing. Um, my suspicion is there is sort of broad acceptance of this regimen across other tumor types and there will likely be some uptake in non-small cell lung cancer as well.